Hey friends and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's layout is for the Shimmers design team and I as always go all out crazy with colors. I wanted to document this very cute picture of my second son and I also wanted to use Shimmel's uh, field trip collection and the colors of the layout is, are sort of inspired by that rainbow star paper and it's very primary very primary I use reds blues um, green yellows orange so yeah it's very rainbowy colorful primary ish layout and it first started out that I wanted to you sort of create like a very layered layout I do do it but I don't end up be doing it the way I originally intended to. Um, I grabbed uh, Vicky Booten foundations paper and I just started spraying color onto it. I added those colors are and I'll leave them down in the description below in case you're interested. Um, those colors are Bed of Roses, Little Yellow School Bus, Jenny B. Blue, In Deep, Hint of Mint, Princess, Tuscan Sun, and Rolling in the Hay. Now on my background, you'll see all of those except Hint of Mint. Hint of Mint I added on later. So what I'm doing here is that I'm spraying color rolling my paper towel over it to dry it up, add another layer of the color, roll my paper towel again, and add an extra layer of color. And I do this just to ensure that I have a very bright background. Oh, there's another color that I add towards the end, which is pixie dust, but I add that in splatters beneath um not beneath uh, splatters on top my of my layout then to add some pops of black i water down some black acrylic paint and just splatter it onto my background And it's perfect because I thought it was going to be very, very black and I was like, okay, maybe I messed this up. But in the end, it just lightened up into like a dark gray or light gray. But I mean, both grays. <laughs> and then I also sprayed some um, white acrylic paint, but I just added it into a mister bottle sprayed it and it just lightened things up a bit then i went to work on my background and i am not like i'm not um measuring anything i'm just eyeballing the strips of paper um seeing what just goes well with this i am trying though um to to try and make sure that I don't mix two like two busy patterns together, I want to like create that balance and um, that uh, yeah. Let me. I hope I'm making some sort of sense, but I don't like to have one busy paper on top of another busy paper because it just for me it's just too much on like too much clutter on the eye um and i hope this makes sense as i'm adding the papers onto my layout because yeah my background is all all done i add this acetate sheet of polka dot teal uh, teal polka dots and then i start to sort of rehearse where i'm going to be placing the papers like I'm making sure that I have a balance of colors 
um, here and like the same balance throughout the whole layout, trying to make sure that since I didn't measure the papers, um, I'm just trying to make sure that every single paper is a different size so that it helps to better offset the patterned papers better. I go ahead and trim my picture to about four by four. And then I mat it onto this green patterned paper, also from Chamel's Field Trip Collection. And then I get to work on layering everything. The longer strips, that star one and the striped one, I trim them down to roughly 11 um, in length. And I think the other one is like 11 and a half. Because um, for some reason, I didn't want them to reach all, all the way to the border. So I just trimmed them down a bit. Some of the papers, I've distressed them with my distressing tool. Others, I've just let them be plain. Some have just one side um, a bit rugged because some of them, I tore them by using my um, a ruler. So I don't, um, yeah, it's very, it all not, ev the point of this layout is every paper is different <laughs> in in every term it's different pattern different color different um, borders different sizes so yeah that's why I like creating layered layouts like this because um, yeah it's so different everywhere you place your eye it's it's something new and adding the whole point of the shimmers beneath it has a it adds another layer of color to it i love it so i go ahead and work on my title and it's two number two cute i'm trying to break away from my single title i mean single word titles so, yeah, that's why I'm trying to incorporate more words into my title. I grab a p another piece of vellum and I trim it down just so that it fits beneath um, my picture. Because right now, the way that I place the letters of the title, it just they just don't stand out. So I just added a little bit of vellum beneath the, beneath my picture. So it'll, so it makes the, the title stand out more. And then I just start layering in the embellishments. Trying to play, play around with them like, okay, these could go here. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna use dinosaurs and these big leaves. Then as I'm going through the ephemera, I notice that I had two big stars left over from a cut file that I had cut. Wow, this was back in November. So they were sitting around in my stash and I was like, ooh, they, they were awesome as layering pieces. So I grabbed some extra whites. Um, I mean, they're not extra white, but they're white stars that are extra <laughs> I'm really I really hope I'm making sense it's been a while since I've done a voiceover I think it's been like two weeks and my brain is like trying to remember how to do voiceovers and explain what I'm doing anywho so I also add these punched out leaves just to add an extra pop of color and some extra interest and layering to the layout. Again, I'm not gluing anything down just yet because I've gotten into the practice of sort of rehearsing where I'm going to be placing my things. 
um, instead of like sticking things out down and then like trying to unstick them and rearrange them somewhere else I'm trying to rehearse things and um, before I commit then for those white stars I decided to color them in yellow green red and blue then while those are drying they dry pretty fast because I it's not a gessoed paper or anything it's just plain paper so it just um, seeps in um, I grab the star the yellow stars and add pop dots beneath them but I noticed that they were too I think they were cut out in like a light yellow color so I just lightly sprayed them with ye little yellow school bus to add their I didn't want to cover them completely so they have like lighter yellow like they have like a lighter yellow and a darker yellow on them and it works out perfectly and then I start to glue things down um, layer things in once I knew what I wanted to do with this layout it came it came around pretty quickly And those colored stars that I made, I am going to offset them in a way that I place the yellow and green s stars on where the orange and red are. And the yellow and red stars, I'm going to place them towards the blue purple side. Again, because I want to balance things out and also because I want the stars to stand out a bit more. But then I realized that I had too many yellow stars, like a lot of yellow stars. Oh, well, there weren't a lot, just three, but yeah, I wanted to balance out the colors. So what I did is I switched out that yellow star for this sort of periwinkle-ish color and placed it where the blue star or the sorry where the yellow star was going to be it's more of a purplish color but yeah and then i add some nouveau drops in green dark green i don't recall the name but it's green and off camera i don't do so now i mean not off camera i do do this here I splatter some pixie dust all around it it's a gorgeous pearly color and off camera I write my journaling beneath my picture and I also added some extra stars just to pull everything together towards the bottom here you have the close-ups and you see the extra stars that I've added uh, with the journaling and everything I hope you're inspired to make a colorful layout um, and Remember guys, if anything, I'll see you back soon with another process video. Remember, like, subscribe, share my videos. I don't mind at all. And remember also that if you're interested in any shimmers colors and decide to place up an order, um, write my name in the comments section of your next order and you'll receive some free paint. Bye bye guys.